Hi guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the uh, space program simulator game that I'm playing on the channel. If you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If I get a decent amount of likes, I'll definitely keep making these episodes. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at continuing doing some of the missions to make some money and also doing as much science as we can to get as much stuff unlocked as possible because uh, I want to unlock more space bits so we can make cooler spacecrafts and stuff like that. We've got a mission to test this end. I'll put it together and kind of show you what we're doing. So this one, this uh, flea solid fuel booster, which is a little tiny solid fuel engine, the first thing we get actually, we've got to test it in a flight above Kerbin, uh, above between 18 and 26 kilometers in altitude. So we're going to have that as our kind of final stage basically so we can ditch everything else before we need to we've got this hammer attached which is another solid fuel engine and our other contract is to test that on the launch pad again we had the same one before but yeah that's what it is it is what it is so we're going to use this to kind of get us off the ground and get us hopefully up to 18,000 mm, don't know if that's actually going to work but we can certainly give it a try. So, um, how heavy is the spaceship now? It's eight. I might put a bunch more. I mean, did we unlock an extra? F yeah, we unlocked the bigger fuel tank. I might stick a couple more fuel tanks on our liquid engine there because that should be able to get us a bit higher. And I might actually swap out the liquid engine. Did we get the bigger engine? We did. We got that one. So that's probably going to be better to use so we'll swap it out for that bigger one if that was the right one wasn't it yeah we'll swap it out for the bigger one because hopefully that'll be able to get us a bit higher and we should have a decent amount of fuel now hopefully that will be enough to get us up to the height we need to get to although I'm not 100% sure on it so this is going to be well we're done no cancel click the wrong thing it's going to be a little bit of a weird experiment because I don't know if it's going to work at all but We'll give it a go. So, why did that? Ex oh, I messed up the stage, and that's why. Okay, right. Let's just. We, I think we can revert without actually. This is what I need to remember. Yeah, we can revert. That. I've set it wrong. So basically, that engine went off, and the bottom one didn't. So I need that to be at the bottom. I then need the decoupler. No, this is all out of order completely. So. That decoupler needs to be down here. So we got that, it decouples and starts the liquid fuel. And then we need it to... Oh my gosh, this is terrible. So that top decoupler needs to be there. We've got our parachute last. And we're gonna need another thing there because I wanna decouple and then start that separately to make sure that we're actually in the right position. Okay, right, I think we're okay now. That was a bit of a silly error, but let's uh, let's launch it now. I'm turning on the uh, the piloting assist. I want to make a slight arc because I don't want to take it directly up necessarily because we want to be in some kind of uh, a flight pattern rather than just directly up. That's going to run out any second now. So let's start with the liquid fuel. Okay, that's going to keep taking us up. Might increase the throttle just slightly. Obviously, increasing the throttle is going to burn out the engine quicker. Don't know if I fully explained, but liquid fuel, you can control it completely. So you can increase and decrease the throttle. I think this is going to be okay and it's going to get us to the right height actually because we're already hitting 10,000 and all we need to get to is 18,000. We're not even halfway through our liquid fuel yet and we obviously are going to have some momentum behind us as well. So this might actually work out nicely. Let's just move into a little bit more of a uh, kind of an angle. Get our kind of flight pattern in right we're in there so let's move this as much as we can into like a like a holding pattern kind of style thing and let's ease off the throttle somewhat I'm definitely going too high here I need to be careful of that oh I'm getting out of control a little bit 
Okay, so we're in a flight above. I'm I'm too high. That's my problem here. So we will drop off a little bit eventually, but we are still going up at the moment. I want this to drop off so I can activate the solid fuel engine. Right? Can I speed this up slightly? Just still going up, which is surprising. Let's get it to the point where we start falling. Okay, so we start falling now. I think, yeah, we're going down. That's fine. So as soon as we get below like 26, something like that, should be able to activate the solid fuel burner. Yeah, okay. So we're in a flight above Kerbin. Activating the solid fuel burner now. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. I guess we were too much in the atmosphere there, and it's blown up the entire ship. Or has it, actually? No, no, that's actually survived. Can I launch my parachute yet? We're coming in very hot here. I don't think we're actually going to be able to launch the parachutes in time. Okay, so that was somewhat of a failure, but we might. And so we're going to have lost a pilot and stuff like that by the looks of it. But we might have been able to uh, salvage the missions at least. Uh, let's have a look. It's not letting me... Uh... Let's go back to the space centre, I guess. Just having a look at this, it has completed our launch, but didn't complete our testing the uh, flea solid fuel booster. So that didn't work out, unfortunately. I think I might actually ditch this mission because it seemed a little bit complicated, maybe a little bit too high. It's very difficult getting back in for a safe landing after being up that high. Right, so I think rather than do any more missions now, We'll look at doing what we can. This this was a bit much, I think. So it's all a bit complex. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it and start basically from scratch. We'll keep our pod with our science stuff on it to start with. Did we get any science from that at all? Actually, uh, save current craft. That's fine. Yeah, let's have a look at what we've got science-wise. Seventeen. Actually, that's not enough to unlock. I know it is. Have a quick look at research and development. Right, we can unlock some of these things here. What's that? A service bay, a heat resistant service bay, deal of protecting delicate instruments, or stowing small service compartments such as RCS tanks, batteries, etc. We've got some different things. Okay, so we'll may as well unlock that because we've got the money for it. Okay, uh, money, I mean the science. And what we'll do is look at doing some different experiments. So we'll stick a couple more thermometers on because we can obviously use those to get data and we'll put what we'll do is we'll do barometers on okay and we'll put those just under the goo tanks there so they don't affect any EVAs that we might want to do and now we can send the thing up and do some more sciencey stuff with it. I didn't want that there actually. Can we put that back down to one and just put that there? Let's do it like this and let's have some liquid fuel tanks. So let's have like we're gonna want to decouple these, aren't we, actually? So we've oh, we've got a decoupler on already. So let's do like two of these liquid fuel tanks. I need to zoom out actually. How does how do I do that? There we go. We'll have the swivel engine and we'll have some fins to keep us stable like that and I think that that have we got anything else we might want we got some heat shield which would have been useful before uh, that dissipates heat 
What else have we got? Is there anything else we could use? No, I think that's pretty much everything we might need. So we get up as high as we can and uh, and try out the goo contaminant unit thing, containment unit. Do the barometer on the ground, do it in the air, all that kind of stuff. We should be able to get a decent amount of science from, from this thing anyway. And we'll do a crew report while we're in the air as well. So this is purely a science only mission. We might as well do a mystery goo experiment on the ground. There's actually no point doing it, so just reset the experiments because it's given us a zero. There's no point at all. We can do log pressure. That's going to give us 3.6 on the ground. Perfect. We can do log temperature. That's going to give us nothing because we did do it before. We could check what our... We could do an EVA. That's what we can do because we can't do those in the air anyway. So we can do an EVA report. It's going to give us nothing, to be honest. So there's no point doing it. Bored. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we can do on the ground then. So, based on that, yep, our stuff's in the right order, so let's launch. I'm not going to have used too much throttle because I don't really see much point in doing that. So let's have a look what our Mystery Go experiment is going to do for us now while we're launching. 1.6 science. Seems to maybe be increasing, so let's not worry on it with flight... Uh, Ooh, what are we doing? We were going, of course, a little bit. I've put the pilot, turned the pilot on. So, okay, so log temperature here. That's worth doing. Log pressure data here. That's definitely worth doing. Okay. Mystery goo. Did we do that already? No. 1.6 science. May as well do that there. We'll keep going, see how high it takes us. Then when we're at kind of maximum height, we'll do whatever other experiments we can do. Okay, so we're definitely slowing down now. We're at 350 odd feet, meters even, and it's start, starting to slow down. So we'll do a mystery goo experiment here. And it says, the goo seems to be getting very cold and it gives us nine signs. So we'll keep that experiment. We'll log the temperature here. That's going to give us some science, so we'll keep that. And that was 3.6 from the launch pad. I'm thinking it might be worth resetting that and redoing it here because I think that's going to give us much better science and obviously we can do on the ground tests anytime we want. We've got one more temperature thing to do and we'll do a crew report from here as well. So they're going to give us a report of the situation and now we're actually heading back down. I will set the parachute to what I want it to like uh, I guess 1300 something like that. Okay, so we've done pretty much all the experiments. The only thing left to do is one more temperature, which I think we'll do kind of halfway down. I'm going to speed this up anyway. Okay, I'm going to log the temperature here. That's going to give us 5.6, so we'll keep that. I'm going to activate the parachute. I'm going to keep it on four speed just because it's going to make it so we don't have to watch this fall to the ground forever. Okay, our parachute's deployed and we're just going to make the last few metres to the ground. We've kept all our experiments intact, which is nice. Okay, I think everything survived the landing, so let's recover it and just make sure we've got everything we, uh, we intended to have. So yeah, we got our crew report, all this stuff. In total, 55 science from that one flight, which is really good, and we got all our parts back as well, so... Let's click done and go to the research and development center because we can use those science points to unlock some more stuff. So we've got stability which is going to give us some new wings, nose cones and the radial decouplers which will be useful. What else do we have? We have advanced rocketry which has given us new, more new engines. Thud liquid fuel engine. A new fuel tank. So we could maybe unlock that. So which haven't we got enough to unlock that to be fair? But this is stuff that's to come in the future, I guess. These are all, they require 45 inch. So we haven't got enough science to actually unlock anything else. 
But this is stuff that we're working towards now, at least, anyway. So, yeah. Right. Rechargeable battery pack. So it looks like we're going to have lots of interesting stuff to play with eventually. But for now, let's get out of here. And let's have a look at missions. Okay, we are going to call that an end to the episode. We'll look at some of these missions in the next episode. It's so easy to lose track of time when playing this game that I'm having to make some weird cuts because I find out that I've recorded way longer than I thought I did and obviously don't want to put a one-hour video clip out on YouTube. Guys, if you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll definitely keep making these episodes for you. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.